This afternoon I'm at Seacon Square for the opening day of a car exhibition in the Mall. Seacon Square has quite a connection with the car world. The family who own the Mall are very engaged in the car scene and they have a classic car exhibition once a year and it's really beautiful. They bring together a lot of classic cars. It's very popular. It's very well designed but this is slightly different. This exhibition is focused on JDM. It's focused on paying homage to the Japanese street racing scene, in particular Osaka, which is regarded by most people as the home of JDM and the whole underground car scene where it originated from. So this whole exhibition is really devoted to that. You can see behind me, the big boards behind me on the wall are going through the story of that scene. And there's about 20 cars that have been brought together. And it's a really nice mix of cars, mostly Hondas. There's a few Toyotas. There's a, there's a True Now 86, which looks beautiful. There's a Altis taxi, which has been dressed up like a Japanese taxi. There's a Mazda MX-5, which looks really beautiful. So there's a good mix of cars and they're all really nice, really beautiful. There's some road cars, mostly have been modified, mostly have been tuned. They've got roll cages. They've got different performance elements to them. So it's a really good mix. And this has all been located in the new redesigned end of Seacon Square. I must say the owners have done a fantastic job. They've redesigned the whole end of this mall and they've created a really nice atmosphere, particularly for a mall. And it, there's a really nice ambience, there's loads of really nice backdrops, it's a place where people can really come and hang out and enjoy themselves and not really feel that they're just in a mall which is row after row of outlets. So it's a really cool place to hold a car exhibition and this is nice already on the first day there's quite a lot of people looking at the cars, reading the notices on them, reminiscing about these cars and it's a pretty cool exhibition. I think it should attract quite a lot of people. It runs till the end of next weekend, that's the 15th I think. So I think you'll see quite a lot of people there. The only downside is it hasn't been designed for taking photos. There's really tight tape barriers around all the cars. So unless you've got a really wide angle lens, that's the only way you're going to get photos. So they're going to be a bit distorted. And again, video, I use my GoPro because it's the only way I was going to get the angles in there. Apart from that though, it's really nice. It's an interesting way of spending a few hours. And although you've probably seen all these cars before, a lot of the mall people won't have seen them. And even if you have, most of them are worth looking at again. And there's some things that really stand out. There's one that's dressed up in the famous colors of the 96 Japanese Touring Car Championship, a Honda Accord, in those really bright colors that everyone knows. The original car, I think, is in the Honda Museum. But this car has been dressed up like that and there's a few more that have got liveries that pay homage to the some of the glory days some of the great days from Japanese motorsport so it's a real mix it's a real you get a real sink in feeling of JDM and of the whole Osaka street racing scene a whole underground vibe putting in a mall like this with all the pillars with all the walls and things yeah it does give a little bit of that feel a little bit of the fast and furious a little bit of underground so yeah it's it's all pretty bang on and I think people are really going to enjoy this once they come up to this end of the mall and take a look. This Accord behind me, this is one of the real famous Japanese racing liveries. People can really identify with this car. The original Accord is in the Honda Museum in Japan. It's a really famous, very valuable car. But this car here has been wrapped up in the same livery. And it's a, apart from being a livery that's famous for its winning thing, it's just really striking. It's a livery that never gets old. And you can look at it time and again. And a lot of people today have been stopping to look at this car. A lot of people, especially car people, really remember this car, really remember the exploits it did. It was a famous year for the Honda Accord in touring cars.
this EG behind me, this is another well-known livery one that people identify with and this project is brand new it was only unveiled at the honda fest a couple of weeks ago and there it was put on a slide behind the main stage and the wraps came off and really it was one of the big highlights of the show so only a, a week or two later and it's in the mall here for a week and a half so i think we're going to be seeing a lot of this car over the coming months the coming year at various car shows and i think it's going to attract a lot of attention certainly at the honda fest people were very interested and at the mall here you can see people have been looking at it all day people wanting to take selfies with a car so it's something they remember it's something that they recognize and it, it's a really good standout Behind me you can see like a Japanese style garage has been built up in what would normally be a little outlet in the mall and it's got all the paraphernalia, all the bits of a garage and in the middle of it there's an Altis, what we know is a taxi in Thailand but instead it's all dressed up how you'd find a Japanese taxi in the stripes and the colours and decals of that and there's a small motorbike, the ones you usually see zipping up and down the little soys here but can't go on the main roads. So it's kind of a nice touch for this exhibition, building up a whole Japanese style garage.